Raise your hand if you hate pop-ups. Come on, be honest. Now, raise your hand if you've ever used a pop-up on your website. What's interesting about pop-ups is that so many people have very strong feelings about them, and yet they convert so many website visitors into email subscribers. In this video, we'll talk about strategies for growing your email and SMS lists, and we're definitely not going to stop at just pop-ups. I'll be teaching you all the ways in which you can build your email and SMS audience with excited, eager to buy people. This video is brought to you by Drip. Trusted by more than 30,000 e-commerce marketers, Drip unleashes the power of your customer data to deliver perfectly personalized email and SMS marketing strategies that are proven to grow your revenue. Learn more at drip.com. My name is Casey and I run Luck & Co Agency. We help dozens of e-commerce brands do exactly that, grow their lists and turn email and SMS into their top revenue drivers. Everything that I share here is from our experience and not some business book that I read. So stick around and please subscribe to the channel. This makes a huge difference to me and my team. So let's talk about pop-ups. Pop-ups are by far the most effective way to grow your list. The key to a pop-up that doesn't annoy people and converts well is twofold. You need to offer something of value and you need to do it at the right time. Of course, when you just say join our newsletter and you do that two seconds after I land on your website, that's when I get annoyed. If you gave me at least a few seconds to explore your website and then offered either a discount or free something, I would be like, heck, this sounds like a great deal. For e-commerce stores, offering something of value is a no-brainer. A discount is the easiest thing, but you can also do free gift with purchase, free shipping, join the monthly giveaway, or simply highlight the fact that subscribers get first access to the best deals and product launches. An average pop-up converts at about 3%, meaning out of 100 people who see that pop-up, three people join your list but the best pop-ups convert at eight to 15%. So keep tinkering with your messaging and design until you see above average results. Pro tip, the fewer fields you have on the pop-up, the more people will complete it. People get overwhelmed when you ask them for too much. So if you want people to actually submit that form, only ask for what you absolutely need, like email and phone number. When it comes to timing, exit intent pop-ups are the best way to go. When a user is navigating towards closing the window, that's considered exit intent and your pop-up will show up then. Okay, so I've mentioned that as an e-commerce store, you've got so many options when it comes to incentives to subscribe. But you're probably wondering, Casey, just tell me what works best. I've read a study that analyzed thousands of pop-ups with millions of views, and it said that a pop-up with an offer, meaning like a discount or a deal, converts five times better than a pop-up without one. And what's interesting is that it doesn't actually really matter that much what the offer is. As long as there is an offer, your pop-up will do better. In our experience, there are three offers that do best. A discount, both percentage and dollar off, free gift with purchase, and joining a giveaway. We also work with companies who don't do discounts, like ever, in which case we like to highlight bundle savings. Technically, you don't need to be a subscriber to get the savings, but also most shoppers simply don't know about these bundle savings at all because they're hidden all the way on the product pages. So we say something like, did you know you could save up to 20% when you bundle? Join our email list so you never miss out on deals and new product announcements. And then in the welcome email, we highlight the bundle savings. When it comes to SMS, for technical reasons and for UX for both the shopper and us, we often offer the same deal as for the email signup. But SMS is a much more personal channel and we make sure that we highlight that. Our SMS subscribers are always the first to hear about deals and product launches. And even though the welcome offer is the same for them as the email subscribers, we often offer a slightly bigger discounts to them during big sales and promotions. Plus, we truly make SMS subscribers feel like part of an insider community by sending photos from the warehouse or early updates on product developments. And so the value of joining email list is exactly that, being part of a closer community.
Okay, so as I said in the intro, pop-ups are just the beginning. Let's talk about all of the other ways in which you should be growing your list. By now, most shoppers kind of expect that they can find an email signup in the footer of the website. In case your pop-up is disabled or just didn't pop up for some reason, it makes sense to have a super simple embedded form in the footer. It doesn't collect nearly as many emails as the pop-up, but it's a good thing to have down there for safety. SMS has been stealing a lot of attention in the marketing world lately and for a good reason. If you've added a phone number field to your pop-up, amazing. But how do you get your existing subscribers to join your text list? You build a super simple landing page and send your people there. Keep it simple, just make it on brand and embed your SMS form. That's pretty much it. Once you have it in place, you can do fun campaigns like this one. We're releasing our new product next week. Can you guess what it is? Join our SMS list and we'll give you access two days early. Hey, if this video is helpful, please take one second to hit that like button. I'm just going to wait like one second while you do that. Okay, thank you so much. One obvious but super important place to collect subscribers is your checkout form. If someone has started a checkout, they're pretty interested in your products and your brand, so you definitely want them on your list. An important thing here is that you must collect consent to send these shoppers marketing content. Most shopping platforms like Shopify have a checkbox right under the email field. This is what's going to let you send those beautiful product launch emails and engagement campaigns and sale emails to your folks. You can have that checkbox pre-checked or unchecked by default, and really it's just your brand's choice. If you have it checked or pre-checked, you'll collect a lot more emails, but they also won't be as high intent as if you left it unchecked. As a marketer, I recommend having it checked by default, but it's completely your choice. Now, keep in mind that this is only email consent. If you also want to send SMS messages to your shoppers, you need to have another consent checkbox that's specific to SMS, and your SMS provider should be able to help you set that up. Definitely encourage your social media followers to sign up for email and SMS by guiding them to a sign up form on your website. This can be done through posts, stories, and ads. Here's a back in stock example from Bloom. This is a seasonal flavor that their customers love. So Bloom says, sign up for email and be the first one to hear when this flavor drops. Then they have a link in their link tree that leads to this super simple landing page with an SMS form. You might have seen or maybe even participated in a giveaway where multiple brands partner up, put together a big prize, and every partner promotes that giveaway to their own audience. And then what happens afterwards is that they all share the list of people who signed up. We've helped multiple partners run dozens of giveaways like that, and the result has always been the same. We've added a ton of subscribers, like really thousands, fast but very few of them opened and clicked and really just a handful of them converted. And it simply didn't make sense financially because not enough people place an order. But when we added the cost of hurting email deliverability by having low engagement, it became clear that partner giveaways like that are a big no as a list growing strategy. At the end of the day, the point of growing your list is growing your business with buyers, not just dead weight subscribers. And so for that reason, I personally don't recommend giveaways and instead recommend sticking to all of the other strategies that we just discussed in this video. I hope you were jotting down some notes as you watched. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It's going to make my day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.